Hello everyone, Crydax here. Welcome back to our Nullius playthrough. In our last episode, we did a lot of maintenance and got some more tier 3 buildings going. We've got all kinds of ammonia and nitric acid. We're getting rid of salt boxes. All kinds of good stuff. Um, we are going to now work on something I just researched, which... Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Aluminum production 3. So we get a new way to make ingots and a new way to make hydroxide. And so we are going to work on those. I'm going to plug it into hell mod because this is a big enough production. I think it's probably easier. So we want boxes of aluminum ingots. And it looks like now we do still have carbide. So we are going to need to do both of these. And so if I want like 10 boxes a second, we're going to need matrix solver. And that will help us figure out what we need. Um, Hydroxide, then we have a new recipe for that. Is it even that much better though? I mean, four went to three and now seven goes to six. So instead of eight, we use seven. That is a 12 and a half percent reduction in usage, which would be the reciprocal of that increased in production at the cost of sulfuric acid, which is pretty cheap. So I'm fine with that. And is the recipe faster? That's another thing to check out. Like, that's 31 flotation cells. What if I used the other one? It's 44. So that that means uh, we don't need as many flotation cells, which is great. And we actually have tier 3 float floaties. Uh, and what about large furnace 2s? Have I unlocked those? Can I build them? It would be very nice if I could. Oh, they need belt 4s which is annoying, and medium furnace threes, which I can build medium furnace threes. Belt fours, I can also build, technically, but the problem is they use a lot of titanium, which I don't have. So I think for now we'll stick with large furnace ones, because I, I just don't have enough titanium. I may end up um, imagining, like, underbuilding this a little bit, because I will get to upgrade those fairly soon. Um, yeah, I'll actually just, I'll act as if I have large furnace twos, and then I'll just let it run at whatever speed it runs, which will be roughly half. Uh, we do need some other things, though. We need crushed bauxite in box, boxed bauxite, as usual. Uh, which comes from bauxite boxes. Classic. Um, okay, what else do we need? We'll bring in sulfuric. We'll bring in soda ash. We'll bring in graphite. So I think we're good to go, right? Caustic. That's a lot of caustic solution. I think I should make that on site. That's seven barrels per second. So I might just uh, make that myself. Though not with that recipe. This one. And then we don't have to bring in quite as many items per second. Because the, the bauxite's coming in on a belt. So. Yeah, that's a lot better. Uh, sulfuric will be barreled. And then we have some output monoxide, which is cool. We'll just compress that, put it in barrels. Uh, output wastewater, sludge. And then the dioxide, it might be worth um, wrapping around the output dioxide here as an input. Now, I don't know exactly what's happened. I guess we just want this to be... Yeah, it's not going to let me because I'm in matrix solver mode, but we want this to be like 50% or something like that. Um, wow, did, is that exactly the ratio? 
Yeah, it is. Thank you, Anachrony, the mod maker, for making the ratios nice. It's exactly 50% of it can be recycled. The sulfur dioxide output back into sulfuric acid. So that's even less sulfuric acid input that we need. Um, do, do, do. However, we're going to put prod modules and everything. Yield modules. Sorry, I should say yield because prod is different. Which then is going to change the ratio from 50%. And we're going to have to matrix solver again, turn it off, so then we can mess with this percentage again, which is going to be like 40. Uh, wait. Sorry, it'll be 55 or like 60 or 62. 62.2. .2. 64, nope, too much. 63, somewhere around there. 0. 0.5, 0. 0.4. I like to get it just right. The annoying part is you can't, can you do math in these? I don't remember if you can do math in these. Uh, 63.2, it is perfect. So, there we go. That's the setup we want. Uh, we need a little bit of input oxygen, which is kind of annoying. We'll just unbarrel it, I guess. But yeah, there we go. Let's build it. If we build it, they will come. Now, our bauxite is on a belt. Um, but it's coming down from... That's limestone. Where even is the bauxite coming from? Where... Where indeed? Oh, it's coming from down there. There it is. So we can just build it right here, I think. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. Okay, good deal. Now, Crusher 3s, I guess we didn't look at that. Crusher 3, Splitter 4, Miner 3, which we can do. Wait, small miner three. No, that's also titanium and motors. Yeah, that's expensive. Okay. We'll wait on those as well. All right, here we go. New builds. Always exciting. Uh, let's get rid of that stuff. And I would like to stick with kind of the general two space past what I need. Uh, I kind of just want an overall beacon grid. So I'm going to have it be part of that same grid. What I really should do is have a blueprint that snaps to grid for these. So I can always position them such that they'll align nicely later if I connect the middle parts with beacons. And I could even have like a different tile that it places underneath those, so I know not to build on those spots, because later I would want a beacon there. That would probably be the smart way to do it. But we won't do that. Okay, so I need five of these. But we're going to move it back one, so I have two spaces. It's just simpler. And then I need 50. Oh, right. We should. Uh, where is this production block? We should at least tell it we have two large beacons per factory. Enter. Oh, no, that, that part doesn't matter. It's the amount affecting one. Two beacons affecting each factory. Play. And I will put a speed module in each of them play because that's a lot more reasonable um i do not have the resources monitor mod i have gotten some of those before i tend to play with resources turned up high enough that it's pretty rare for a patch to run out like i usually know well in advance before one is going to run out like you know i already have limestone set up up here We've got this bauxite, which we can connect to this bauxite, so that's probably enough. And then I can always get this iron when I need to, because um, this iron is going to run out eventually. I don't think that'll last me to the end of the game. 
But there's at least for this playthrough, I don't have a high need for that. I maybe should do that for Pyanodons, though. Um, okay, so now we only need nine and three. And these have an output. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Not bad. Um, let's get these hooked up. Need that. We need an output on a belt. So copy all that. And then here we've got water connections, monoxide connections. These both output monoxide, which is pretty nice. I am not using any bots for mining. Mining is something I'm belting in. So the bots aren't doing all the work, just most of it. <laughs> uh, okay, so we are gonna want a compressor for this on monoxide and a barreling with a active or monoxide compressed. I did that wrong. That goes there. This is the requester for empty barrels of which we want. What's the total rates here? Oh, the rate is huge. That's like almost 500. So 100 a second compressed. Hmm. Before we do this, let's check one thing. If we were to use this monoxide, compress it, um, link that, and turn that into methane. Or I guess we can turn that into graphite. Oh yeah, we can't turn it straight into methane. What turns straight into methane? Is it dioxide? What am I forgetting? Yeah, you can. You can definitely hear them turning from over here. Yeah, it's dioxide that turns into methane. Because methane also turns straight into graphite. So if I were to turn this into graphite, then... Why is that not boxed? Was there a boxed version that exists? No, it doesn't look like it. And then I were to box that... then I would get 3.3, .3, which is da, 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 enough. So then I don't need to import any graphite, which is attractive. I do need some compressed hydrogen though, but compressed hydrogen is far cheaper than graphite and simpler. So I like this, I like this and I'm gonna do it. Uh, so I need five chemical plants basically is all. So instead of this, I will remove all that. You get out of the way. We're gonna do five chemical plants. That's six. Um, you are gonna make graphite, which is this one. Oh, that. There we go. Um, and then those use. Wait a second. Oh, they're expecting beacon. Beacon times. Crap, I did not put this. See, I already am regretting not uh, doing that little beacon grid I talked about. <laughs> Clearly, I need it. Okay. We do this. Oh, and productivity. Then that can use up to 80. What is the disconnect here? Oh, it thinks I'm doing small beacons with two. Oh, because that's a default that I set a long time ago. 
And we have a mount affecting one all off. This is just all kinds of a mess. Um, there. That is correct. There we go. All right, Akri. Thanks for stopping by. It was fun. But yeah, midnight's pretty late. You, you get to bed. You do what you need to do. Okay, so this is telling me I need six now. That sounds more accurate. Yep, you too. Sounds like you're in the same time zone, so get some sleep. See you guys next time. Wait, these don't have a solid input. What am I doing? Okay, so then I need some unbarreling for oxygen. And what's the... What do I get off of one of the... I can just make... I'll just make that here. I don't need a... I don't need an import. We will, we will work harder rather than smarter. Or that's the exact opposite of what I meant to say. We will work smarter rather than harder. Um, so I'll just throw a couple of these. Yeah, it's because it's the weekend. I generally enjoy streaming earlier in the day. I just can't do that on work days. 192, 122, perfect. But as you know, all of the videos will show up on YouTube anyway, so you can always catch anything that you miss. Uh, we need a hydro plant. There we go. Surely I'm going to have enough wastewater doing this every single time. I hope so. Okay, and then two wells should be sufficient. All right, and then we get this connected. Oh, I did not do that right. Whoops. Let's try that again. Copy the building with it. And then the oxygen, this is another chance to get rid of, or get some pressed oxygen into the network. So we'll do that. You are gonna be for oxygen. You need to be for oxygen. And then, there we go. Hydrogen connects up and we're good to go. And then the water output from this, I guess we technically have to take care. Oh, that shouldn't connect. What is the water output? 82 and the water input is 53. So what we can do, connect these, this should be, actually that's, should be connected, Never mind. Um, we can just connect that. That's fine. It's beautiful. And then we'll connect that with this one as well. And then we need a top up. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we need this to be a T. So we can go here. And then we can top up to, I think 20 is fine. So that way there's always some water. And we need to get all these going. Small assembler. Oh, let's see. Small assembler, boxing, graphite, graphite boxed. And That'll go into an active provider. That'll go on a belt. First. Which 
Uh, let's see. The belt will come down here. But then there will be a output priority to the right, but then this will go into an active provider. Why not? That works. Okay. Uh, I did that, that, that. We need two more. Which also have some water, but we'll space it out here. So we can connect up the water still. And then this produces alumina, which then needs to go down. The wastewater is actually significant. So we will hook that up. And out. And move that up. And do one of our active liquid barreling situations. And your wastewater. Okay. That sounds like a really bad diss. Your wastewater. And by bad, I mean, like, not clever. Alright, I think th that all is good. So we need the hydroxide, and then we need to feed this back into here, and then this one will produce carbide that feeds back into there. And then the soda ash we will receive from elsewhere. Okay. So then we'll get this set up. One more little column here. Try to get everything located in line. And we need a lot of these. Wow, with four outputs. Only a single physical output, though. Nope, can't do that. Gotta space them out. One, two. That's four. Five. I think because of the beacon situation, five is enough. But gosh, that's very annoying. Okay, so we can do that. Do one of those connections. I think all of them want to be that type of connection, except the sides. So then copy that, copy that, copy that. And... Okay. And then we need a requester chest. One, two, three, four. If I'm clever enough, can I do this with a belt? I don't think so. Because these inserters can't reach far enough. And I need four. I actually need exactly the amount of squares that I have. Yeah, that's fine. Oh wait, no, that's for four. I can't do this with a belt. Yeah, yeah, easy. Okay, so these just need to hand to the ones above them. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then hydroxide, or uh, yeah, hydroxide out. Um... Yeah, we'll just have a belt around the outsides, that's fine. Except we do need hydroxide for this one. So I probably should go down. Over. Up. Over. 
Okay, then we need crushed bauxite, which is going to be just a heck of a lot of these. And... Should double check. I think one insert is fine. Yeah, definitely fine. Okay, so that all comes down, this comes over, we'll go down one more so we don't have to do squiggles, um, they merge, the right will be crushed bauxite box. Everything else gets actively provided. 18 per second is plenty on that. This is the crushed bauxite, which then comes up and into those. Yep. Now, this is a place where... Um, shoot. Yeah, two spaces, so that's good. This is a place where I believe I'm better off using productivity. Because it's the first step from raw ore. And I know for a fact that productivity is going to be better in the long run with that one. Because even though I get slightly less bauxite, I just need way less crushers to do the same amount of work. And power. So it's just more efficient. It's technically not as efficient in terms of total bauxite, but that's not my concern. So that's good. And then I just need to make the caustic solution down here, which with speed modules is going to be more than fast enough. Request for that. I don't even know. We'll just do 100. Make sure we've got enough. Do I not have hydroxide? What? What is this? What's going on here? Well, that's an improvement we'll need to make. And these aren't running because those only run if chlorine barrels are low. We already probably have too many chlorine barrels. Yeah, we're supposed to be at a thousand, so. That's something we'll have to work on. Uh, this does need water. We'll do that, that's a little cleaner. Uh, now this one... Wastewater is about 10 per... Yeah, it's, that's not enough to worry about. Although it's going to be running constantly. Because this is for aluminum. So this is one thing that I can... I can rely on running pretty much the whole game. Ready to go. So we'll, we'll, we'll do this. Okay. There we go. Caustic. Connected. Then caustic needs to connect around the top here. Sludge needs to connect. Sulfur dioxide needs to connect. Just so we have access to all those. Actually, that one can be down lower. There we go. Perfect. Um, okay. Looks good, and then we need two chemical plants. Repurposing. And they need some water too, so those can be down here. Um, this is kind of in the way.
sulfuric acid, and then we need some water here. Like that. These need to be connected to the sulfur dioxide, which that's perfect. And then oxygen, we unfortunately... I could get it from over here. Yeah, why not? We just need a little bit. Like 10 per second. Basically nothing. Um, and then the only thing we need here is a... Whatever this is called. Decompression. All right. So that'll decompress that. And then we need... Um, So this outputs there, and then we need to top up into that small percentage from an unbarreler of sulfuric acid. What's the rate we might need on that? Up to 80, so something like 80 barrels. Seems good. So the sulfuric acid's taken care of. The output's here taken care of. Okay, so then that hydroxide comes over. And we need that in only one place, which is these guys. Like that. And then that creates alumina and wastewater. Now the wastewater is being dealt with. And the alumina needs to first pass through these. Um, I'll put priority right. I don't know why those are connected. Um... Because this is the primary one we want to use. And then the Illumina will then get used after all that up in these. Um, like so. So this will grab Illumina. So graphite is here already, and we need soda ash boxes, which might as well go on a belt since we've already got that all set up. We'll just grab 200 of these. Hopefully we have, yeah, we've got plenty. Um, so this will be an input of those two things. Then we need an output, which I think will be one belt further and we do get some hydroxide back which is nice oh uh classic sorry i missed your question uh modern upgrade for the bots to be used instantly i don't know exactly what you mean the bots to be used instantly the shifting build entities however that's called picker dollies and it is very nice but I don't know quite what you mean with uh, bots to be used instantly. Okay, so that'll come up here. So that's the Illumina. And then... That alumina needs to be used along with carbide. Let's get that set up and copied. OK. 
Okay. So then the carbide needs to come back down here. And the carbide will happen from this one, which I guess you can remove that. When you construct or deconstruct, you can't see the bots doing it. Oh, um, yeah, I just have a mod that makes bots invisible is all that's happening there. It's actually not anything happening instantly. It's called like invisible worker robots or something like that. Okay, so this is kind of in the way. So we want carbide to go left. And maybe, yeah, so we want carbide to be provided first. Oops, not that kind of chest. And then I guess we'll just have it Wow, blue belts can go really long. That'll be the one from that direction. And this one... will be the one from that direction. Okay. We've probably forgotten something, but we're getting there. So, I think carbide and alumina are both set up for this row. Uh, we have connected the monoxide outputs. Alumina, soda ash are ready. Graphite, I'll need to feed it a little bit to start, I think. And then the last thing I need is hydroxide box active providing um, here. And then finally, I think we are ready for providing of aluminum boxes. Oh, and these also create aluminum boxes. Right, right, right. And we always want to use up which ones first. The ones that use carbide. Crap. Now I've done it. Um... I need all of this to move up here. Because then this is coming back. That's still actively being provided. Then we do input priority right. And I think that is all ready to go. What are the odds this works? 10%? If everything works well. That will be a special day indeed. All right, and then belt up. And here we go. Let's see what happens. I will need some graphite. Let me just request some boxed graphite here so I have a little bit to start out. Okay, so we're crushing it. I didn't expect this to go wrong. It's like that's working. And then that comes around here. These are running. That's a good sign. And then the hydroxide is making alumina. It's a good sign. Now that will take a second because these guys are all going to grab some first. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then graphite, I'll feed you some and feed you some. And cancel that request. Give you the rest. Alright, so Illumina is working its way up. Looks like we've made it to the top. So Illumina should start backing up. Yep, we can see it backing up. Any moment now, it should get to here. 
There it is. Then it'll back up to here. How's our power? I'm curious. 1.4 gigawatts. Holy. Wow. I need some tier 3 power solutions soon. Oh, our first Illumina. Oh, wait. Not our first. This. Wait. Up here. Here we go. So now this is running. Perfect. And there we go. There's our first carbide. And then that'll loop around and up and back. Oh, wait, we're providing away carbide for a while. Hmm. So that'll be slow. How's it going, Mr. Mazina? Welcome on in. I don't have any of the fancy commands, but for those of you watching, Mr. Mazina is one of the Red Circuit streamers as well, I believe, right? If I'm wrong on that, uh... <laughs> Let me know, but I'm pretty sure I saw you around on Red Circuit, and that's a, a group of streamers that I've joined recently, so. What do you stream, Mr. Mr. M, I can call you. So for now, I'm going to need this carbide to go into these. Well, actually, no, that just gives me more aluminum. I don't need that. So then why did we stop? Oh no, it's broken. Oh, the sludge. I never barreled the sludge. Dang it. Oh, I thought I was going to get away with it. I thought we had maybe done it without any mistakes. But here we are. Barreling sludge. Uh, I'd like to barrel it sideways like this. Maybe we'll do this. Barreling... Escape from Tarkov. So is a wipe just like they reset everything, I'm assuming? And that's kind of like a, a Battle Royale. Is it Battle Royale or more like Halo? Where it's like just kind of a shooter. I don't actually know. Okay, so there we go. Barreling the sludge. So now that's gone. And this should run again. Dang it, I was so close to getting everything right, but we didn't quite make it. But it looks like everything else is running, so that's good news. And so then these are... Oh, that's not connected. That's probably an issue. Um, there we go. Ta-da! Okay, so this will steal carbide for a while, which will, uh, it'll reduce my aluminum production by a lot. But once that's finished, we'll be good to go. Oh, crap. We might not get enough monoxide for now. Um, we need an input party left on this, and then a requester chest on graphite boxes. A lot more tactical. So is it kind of like um, those old, oh, I'm trying to remember what it was called, but there were games where you had like squads of like 40 people. Is it very team based or what? Because I, I mean, I've heard of it. People on RC are talking about it, the Red Circuit Discord, but I haven't actually like seen it played at all. So I have no frame of reference for what the game even is. Hey, the sulfuric acid stuff is working. That's good. We make that more productive. Save a little bit more sulfuric. <laughs> yes, I totally understand the PC typing being faster. Uh, we are a little low on caustic solution. Um, I'm having sodium hydroxide issues. That is a bummer. Let's bump that up just so we don't have to worry about the throughput being an issue. But yeah, now, now these are running, which is good. And the carbide's backing up. Once that gets all backed up, then we'll start getting a lot more aluminum back along with uh, monoxide back to help give more graphite. So it won't need graphite. But for now, we do need graphite in from the outside. 
So Red Circuit is kind of a group of streamers that uh, just kind of band together and it's kind of a community built around streaming. You should go check out their Discord. I don't even have a link ready, gosh. Um, where is a link? Let me find one. Uh, come on, there's gotta be a link somewhere in here. Well, for those of you on YouTube, I'll put it in the comments and that'll be a lot easier. But, oh, no, those are just people's specific links. There it is. Discord.red-circuit.org. So it's, yeah, it's just a group of streamers. Um, Bold Viking is the person that got me kind of twigged onto it. Because uh, Bold Vikings doing the giant Pyanodons playthrough, that's been very entertaining to to get to check out. So I highly recommend you guys check it out if you're interested in more streamers. Um, lots of people stream games other than Factorio. Bold Vikings doing a giant Pyanodons base. He's like 500 out. No, 500. Is that right? More than 500. He's like a, over a thousand hours into a Pyanodons playthrough. So it is quite epic. He only gets 20 UPS at this point. So. Highly recommend checking that out on uh, on Twitch. For those of you on YouTube, he isn't uploading them to YouTube, but he is uploading a space exploration playthrough as well. So, if you're interested in those things, check them out. But no pressure, you can do what you want. I'm never gonna be the person to tell you what to do as a viewer. You can do whatever you want. And yeah, sodium hydroxide. Let's go see if we can improve that because that's our current hang up for aluminum. And then I think we'll be done with that build, which is awesome. And look at how much smaller that is compared to this, and it produces way more. I mean, what we just set up can produce up to 50 aluminum ingots a second of the non boxed variety. That is pretty significant. What are these? Oh, these are just producing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that one, Dave. I, I, you know, I feel like even though his goal is to produce things for Twitch, it could have been nice if he had at least exported them <laughs> to YouTube as he went so they exist somewhere. Because, um, yeah, not being able to watch from the beginning is kind of tricky, but... Now, when do I get Electrolyzer 3s? Gosh, they're so loud. I don't like to stand next to them. Electrolyzer 3. Uh, substation. Charger 2. Actually, oh, efficiency module 2 is the only thing we don't have. So it's more just the researches that are in the way of Electrolyzer 3s. We have all those things. Unfortunately, I didn't leave room for myself to expand. Now this should be an ore, because I'm just trying to make sure I'm doing this correctly, but we want this, if chlorine barrels are low, we always want chlorine barrels to be at 900 or more. This should be lower, this should be like 700. Um, but if chlorine barrels are out, we'll run this just to make free chlorine. But then we also should run these if hydroxide's low as well, because there's no reason not to do that. And we already have ways to deal with extra chlorine. So if hydroxide's less than a thousand, we should run these four. So that alone should double my hydroxide box output. Oh gosh, and I already had these four set up, so it won't double. I forgot about this side. Wow, um, we definitely should use a large supply chest. Wait, less than 2,000. Okay, let's just copy that condition. 
Okay, so hopefully that helps a bit. We are going to be low on power, though. Yeah, 1.2 gigawatts is all I'm getting right now. But this is running. It's all working. We are hopefully going to be able to box all that graphite and stuff. So once this fills up, which it almost is, 1,000, I believe, is the max capacity of that. So once that hits 1,000, we'll start seeing a lot more aluminum out. Um, how are we on aluminum? Uh, looks like we're fine. Oh, you know what? I I forgot to box hydroxide and alumina. Because I need those provided as well. Eutectic salt is good to go. Ammonia is good to go. We're out of oxygen. Because I screwed this up. What's happening? This is supposed to enable if oxygen is low. Oxygen is low. This is not overflowing for what reason? It's at 70. This is at 80. Wait, disabled by control behavior. Oh, crap. We should just have it run if oxygen's low, period. And that only runs if ammonia's low. That was the issue. Okay, so that should fix that. That gets our oxygen running back to nitric acid, which looked like it was okay anyway. Uh, back to here, we do need um, a small assembler doing some boxing of alumina. Alumina boxing. I clearly... Oh, they're, they're already alumina boxes, so we just need to fill a dude a doodad a duty uh, with those and fill one of these yes a regular streaming schedule is a feat in and of itself I've I've been pretty good there have been quite a few Thursdays where life has kicked me in the pants and I haven't um, been able to stream or a very few times but it does happen once in a while where I just don't want to stream because I've had that kind of day but uh, I have been able to, to get pretty much every Tuesday for a long time now. But what I'd love is if I could more be more regular on weekends, which unfortunately I just can't because the weekends are just too unpredictable. You know, when you're married and you've got friends and random things going on, sometimes you just don't have any space in the weekend, which makes me sad. But... So I should be able to tear out all of this aluminum soon. I'll just let the rest of that stuff catch up, but that should help our bots. You can already see there's less flying over here and more flying over here, which is a lot closer. And I'm curious, our research actually caught up, which is pretty cool. Okay, Escape from Tarkov is a shooter with RPG elements, uh, skills that level up in quests, and a lot of loot weapons modifications. Okay, so next question, is it the kind of game where it's like Dota or League of Legends, where every round everybody starts at zero and you build up? Or is it like, kind of like Diablo, or uh, what's the other one? The, the Halo, but not Halo. Um, you go in with the kit you choose. If you die, you lose it. So, so it's not like you're building up skills over the course of like days. You you kind of reset every time. Do tasks, kill stuff, and loot, then getting out. Makes sense. Oh, your skills stay. Okay. All right, we do have our 20 large assemblers, and yes, medium assemblers, let's go. Uh, we're going to put these on our logistics request. And then we've got a decent amount of smalls. We're going to put those on our logistics request. We're out of large buffer chests. Did I forget to build those? I thought I had those somewhere. I could have sworn I put that somewhere. Yeah, it's over here. Isn't it? 
Crack a lackin, what's up? So is uh Mr. is it you versus another team or is it just you versus AI? Where did I put Oh, I just didn't put it anywhere. Yeah, I just uh didn't do it. Well, that's on me, I guess. I guess I thought I'd already automated it because it was an ingredient. But maybe I didn't. I could have sworn I did. I I thought I did this. Um Wait, are those the right ones? Large buffer chest. Small buffer chest. Okay. Operatives. Players that started as players. NPCs. Players can also spawn in as the NPCs. Like taking over a bot in Counter-Strike. That's so interesting. I feel like you're saying a lot of things that I sort of understand, but I don't have quite enough of a frame of reference. I'd have to watch someone play it online, I think. Maybe I'll watch you next time you're streaming. Uh, these are coming. Okay, good. Also, I can put yield in all these. I don't know why I forgot to do that. I mean, it's currently, I think, one of the most played games on Twitch, just straight up. So clearly they're doing something right. If that many people are playing it, it must be pretty good. Uh, I want to check my titanium. <laughs> totally not addicted. Uh, we're ta Yeah, we're talking about Tarkov. Ooh, Steel. Steel's actually running short. I did I did unlock a new Steel production as well. So we need Steel 3 to be on our list. <laughs> Playing slash dying as we speak. That sounds fun. That is the way things go, right? So yeah, I mean, I still don't have enough titanium, so the titan- Oh yeah, we never did the titanium 3 build. Or titanium 2, I guess it is. So that needs to be next. Solar should probably be somewhere on the list. And then, uh, uh, steel 3. And then, yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. I wonder, what are, what are we short on? Let's just take a look at the bottom of our logistics. It looks like steel, caustic barrels. Um, iron ingots. No way. How are we short on iron ingots? Let's just make sure this is all running correctly. Um, looks like it's all running correctly. And yeah, here we are. Iron ingots are being used as fast as we can make them. And since nothing's really failing to run, I'll just have to let that go for a minute. Had to alt F4. That's annoying. Well, I guess my iron is low. That's not what I expected to see. And we don't have another recipe for that, do we? Iron. Yeah, this is, the, this is the best one. So it's not like... I guess once we get tier 3 stuff, we can double our iron speed without too much extra effort. Plus, not to mention, we are going to have better modules. And once I have better modules, then we'll get even more out of this as well. Oh, you know what I can do? I can already improve, improve. I can improve the floaty cells. Floaty boys, let's go. A bit more productivity on that, so that helps. Um, caustic solution is a problem because hydroxide, I assume, is a problem. Yep. So. 
we are going to improve hydroxide again. So let's copy this up here. And get some more brine going. Brian, 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 Brian. And then, uh, why not? We'll just copy all this to, I do need some water back here. Oh no, Tarkov servers are dead. What are you guys gonna do? How will you survive? Okay, and then we want to connect here, I think. Oh, maybe part of the issue was Brian. Are we are we having flow issues here? How much do all four of these use? 720 Brian. These make 671. Yeah, not being able to play Factorio, I mean I'd be I'd be extremely sad. So I, I get it. I get it, that's a problem. Okay, how's that? Is that enough? 767. That should be enough, Brian. If it's not, that's because, yeah, we've got input wa uh, saline water issues. So saline water, we need 3200. Um, I see the problem. I see the problem. Uh, that's a heck of a lot of water. And I can speed this up with some beacons. I think that will help. That gets me up to 2300. Doesn't look like I'm running into pipe throughput issues yet. Uh, let's fix this random sandstone here. What even is this? What is going on here? Sandstone. Oh, that's the sandstone. Is that boxed though? Oh gosh, the bots. Um, I don't know what this is. Where's this going? Is this going anywhere? Or is this complete? Nope, it's completely pointless. Got it. Okay, uh, let's do some deconstruction on this stuff. That is useless. No, that one's not useless. Crap, we do need this limestone one. Uh, but we don't need this sandstone. Okay, well that's good to know. Get rid of that. Okay, I can fit two more of these, and we shall. And we actually are potentially going to start running into wastewater issues too, so I'm going to... Because what's this at now? 767? Yeah, I'm going to add another barreler. In fact, two of them for active liquid barreling here. I'll put them back here. Um, so we connect that to here. Okay. So then that's making even more water, which I should probably have come down from there. Okay, now it seems like we have uh, regular water issues is really funny. Oh, I am barreling that. I kind of forgot I was barreling. Um, so, regular water. Let's have some more outfalls up here. And an overflow, just in case I ever start using barrels of the stuff, but doubt it. 
Okay, does that help? Potentially. Maybe one more. Okay. He's still on running, of course, because I, I never hooked up the things. Right. Uh, so for chlorine, that's going to be... How is that hydrogen? It should not be hydrogen. Oh, it's because of that one. It should just be down. Or, well, that should be up. This should be that way. Now I screwed it all up. Um, this should be up. Then connect to hydrogen, and then this switches down. There we go. That's better. Clearly I didn't line this up well at all. we expected we this is really an insane build y'all we are struggling so now we need some more compressing and active barreling on the hydrogen they're all compressed hydrogen get a rid of her this hydrogen okay so that will help me get enough. All right, Mr. Mr. M, thanks for saying hi. I'm going to be done streaming pretty soon anyways. I think I'm wrapping up this YouTube video. Oh, I need to set that to pressing hydrogen. There we go. Okay, so now what's the problem? Is it is it uh, probably the barreling of chlorine? Let's just, I just assume I'm going to need at least one more of those and speed modules and all of them. Okay, how's our hydroxide production going? This has been, this has been an investment. Uh, it looks like we were up higher and then we were down lower and it looks like we're picking back up again. So... We definitely need a lot of this stuff. It could be good to have a smaller build that I just copy paste a bunch of times, rather than trying to magnify this build to be huge. If I if I still need more after a while, uh, I will I will increase this build. Now the other thing I'm worried about, yeah, chlorine barrels are going through the roof. They're already at four point three thousand, which means we are getting rid of them as fast as our uh our build allows over here the real trick is going to be tier three buildings i also have another way to get rid of chlorine that i think i may have unlocked already so right now i'm turning it into hydrogen chloride but we have now unlocked this calcium chloride 2 which allows us to turn chlorine and lime directly into calcium chloride so we skip having to turn it into the hydrogen chloride gas the the slight problem is well I, I guess let's find out so three lime boxes makes 300 solution here one crushed limestone box only makes 80 one crushed limestone box mixes with uh, 62. A crushed limestone box doesn't make a full lime box. It makes 0.6 lime boxes. So 0.6 goes with 60. So it's about 10 times... Um, so one lime box... 
with that, right? Because three crushed limestone boxes would go with about 180. So yeah, I, it's it's reasonable. 240, yeah, so it's about the same amount of chlorine per lime that we get rid of. Um, and then slightly less calcium chloride, but I mean, it's basically the same. So we do want this recipe, and it's five seconds in a kin plant too, versus... Well, we're dealing with about 60, so that would be equivalent. So it's about twice as fast. So this is a big deal. Uh, we want this. So I am going to set up a thing to deal with that. Um, probably off to the side. Maybe right here. Let's, this will probably be the last little project. And then I think we'll be done with the episode after this, both streaming and YouTubing. But this is important. We need to, we need to get rid of stuff. So we'll unbarrel, uh, we'll do up to three unbarrelers for chlorine. And then I need a big row of implants. And we want calcium chloride, this version. That can handle 450 chlorine a second. And this one is purely to get rid of chlorine. So we want 300 in each of these. Oh, yeah. And the inserter will say, I only do this if chlorine barrels are greater than, we'll say 1500, a little bit of a higher limit on this. And then that will trigger the ultimate voiding. The reason I don't wanna have this always be the main voider is because this one actually does make HCl gas, which we do need a barrel sometimes, because we actually use that for stuff. So I kind of wanted to go through this process by default. And more, it might be a slightly less energy efficient, but it's not like I'm wasting a ton of limestone doing it that way. Unless I did my ratios wrong, it seems like the limestone usage is more or less the same in, in terms of getting rid of chlorine, so. Okay. And then do this. And because the other one is still the primary, I'm not gonna worry about calcium chloride generally. Um, the oxygen here is low enough. I'm just gonna get rid of the oxygen. And then for the calcium chloride, we are just going to do the active liquid barreling potentially two of them, but one might be enough. Uh, 540, I think one is enough for now. Calcium chloride barrel. Ta-da, ta-da, calcium chloride barrel. What's the Triforce thing on the right? Triforce thing on the right. Triforce, Triforce, Triforce. Uh, I am drawing a blank. Oh, this. The charger. That's, uh, that's the thing from Bob's. Um, I think it's from Bob's anyway. It's just charging robots. I were, I was using those more when I only had the tier one robo ports. But now I don't really need them as much. So I, I could just replace this with a actual robo port. Because the tier one bots were just garbage in terms of their battery, so I needed extra chargers. But now I really don't, because the tier two bots just have a better battery. Alright. Outfall. I don't even care about this wastewater. 
Um, where are they? I can never find them. There they are. Okay. No, that's the wrong thing. This needs wells. What am I doing? Okay. So there we go. This is all ready to go. These are running, I, I think. Hopefully. Yeah. And so then these are getting rid of calcium chloride. Oh, those are getting picked up. Oh, that's because it's on an active provider, right? So calcium chloride solution barrels will get up to a thousand doing it this way. Uh, we should probably have less than a thousand though, because isn't a thousand the amount we want before we start getting rid of it? So 900, I think is a good number. And there we go. These should all have speed because there's really no sense to add productivity. And it looks like water is the issue. 732. Yeah, I probably needed two of these. Uh, let's get two going. Of course, you can't paste that. There we go. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that is enough. And then this can make 732, which actually means we need a second outfall here. Okay, sweet. Well, I think that'll do it for this episode. We've made some good progress. Um, there's still so much to do, like more titanium being one of them. And the hydroxide issue is, looks like finally catching up a little bit because we have more than zero sodium hydroxide box. Uh, let's just check in on the aluminum before we log out here. We've got, looks like sludge is being taken care of. Looks like we're backed up on crushed bauxite. Looks like we're backed up on aluminum hydroxide. We're backed up on Illumina. That's great. And these are the outputters of aluminum, and they're all running, which is great news. So aluminum boxes are, yeah, building up quite a bit. We've already got 2.3 thousand. And um, this needs to be set up differently. Because we're, we're just putting uh, graphite back and forth. Um, how do I do this? So uh, this here, we need, a, we need a wire. This belt will only run, this inserter will only run if this belt has low graphite boxes, like less than one. Uh, why is it running? Oh, this needs to be read contents. There we go. Hold. So then as long as there's graphite here on this square, and honestly, that should maybe be a square farther down, like here, because otherwise it, the fluctuations might mess it up a little bit. So change that to hold, get rid of this condition. Okay, so only if I'm out of graphite down here will it begin releasing graphite from the requester. Okay, that's going to be it for today, but thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you all next time.